Hello there and welcome back to Adicraft. And welcome back to Adi's Adventure and this is episode 9 of the series and last time you left me I had just built this fantastic uh, fantasy style villager trading hall and was in the process of getting some villagers in. As you may eagle-eyed viewers see through the window there's been quite a bit of change so let me go and show you what we've actually done here. Um, it's not completely full however if I open this here door and give it a shut as well we have a whole bunch of villagers in here now so first of all over here we've got a whole bunch of book dudes such as Silk Touch, uh, Infinity, Frostwalker 2 because it's a treasure enchantment, uh, Fortune 3, Looting, everything a grown boy needs really and breaking, um, Mending of course most important one and then efficiency four i got first and then i have to get power five out of him efficiency five feather falling four took me so so many placements of, of that uh, lectern to get him and then finally blast protection so there's a couple of spaces left for some people but what i've also done is brought in a couple of other villagers to trade with and get a decent emerald supply. So I've got the weaponsmiths, I've got the armorers in here, I've got the um, these guys which are all master and then obviously I've got the toolsmiths there as well. And the main reason I brought those guys in is because, you, as you'll see here, they trade iron for emeralds. So they have been a fantastic source of both emeralds and actually XP. So what I've been doing as well, and I'll show you around here in a little bit, is doing a whole bunch of trading, and it is actually about to get dark anyway, um, but a whole bunch of trading which has given me some XP and uh, yeah, I've basically upgraded all of my gear as much as I can. Helmet still needs a little bit of work. Um, but also all of the tools so now everything has mending i've even got myself a silk touch unbreaking three efficiency five mending diamond hoe who thought there'd ever be a day when anybody uttered that sentence um but yeah this is the rest of the build so what i've done up here is basically this is going to be a lot of the trading materials there's still quite a few spaces on both sides um, so there's what five on this side and three is it uh, two on the other side so six and two I think it is one two three four five six yeah six and two so eight spaces left still things to do um, I probably want to get masons first and foremost so I can get um, both the quartz blocks and I can also get bricks because I've got an idea to build with some bricks in here so yeah I've got uh, a fair bit of storage up here and then coming up here what i may do is fill this up and turn this because it's nice and open into my main storage area still keep some bits over at the at the tree but now there's a lot more space and there's actually a bed this is quite a nice little storage area so yeah i really really like the interior of this a lot of people in the comments as well really love this build so uh, what i will probably do is do a tutorial for this um haven't decided yet whether I'll do it as a interior for the villager trading area or whether I'll do it for uh, just a normal build. I think I probably will do it as a villager trading area just because I've got everything here. And then you can make use of these guys who they're all locked to their particular particular areas. Some of the one downside is that sometimes some of the XP gets stuck behind these guys but if you flick this down and jump on top you can always pick up the XP as well. And yeah, all all good, all good really. So uh, yeah, I will get some sleep and then I'll let you know what what the plans are for this this episode. So now it's back to daytime. Uh, the other change that I wanted to show you that I've made off camera is to the tree. So uh, if we come in here, one thing that I've added, as we'll see here, is a uh, bubble elevator that goes through all of the different levels. Um, so you can come out wherever you fancy and actually just takes you all the way up as well. So getting down was nice and easy because you can just literally, there's a hole there, plop, and feather falling makes such a difference. You forget that how much of a difference it actually makes when you haven't got it. Um, but when you do have it, it's yeah, it's, it's a game changer, it really is. So we've got this bubble elevator in here. You can come up here if I wanted to do a bit of enchanting. Um, and this was what I was looking for. So we've got the, the helmet. What I will go and do in a second is, um, is add in some uh, some other enchantments and get that fixed up but 
yeah, if it comes through here, yeah, that's made a big, big difference. Um, I've also got some more name tags. Now I've unlocked some of the, the villagers. I've got this mending book from, from before, um, which I can take and leave over with the, the other stuff over there as well. So yeah, what I need to do now, I have the villagers in their lovely little forever home, um, is actually go and try and find myself in the nether, which I've explored a little bit. A, let's just drop down here. Um, a, a nether fortress. Uh, because I can't actually do any brewing at the moment and even though I've got the lovely lovely mechanism for the uh, villagers to zombify and unzombify them to get even better trades uh, yeah can't really use that at the moment because I've got no way to get potions in order to get the uh, the potion of, of healing or um, I think it's harming or, or whatever it is the one that turns them back once they've uh, once they've had their golden battle um, so yeah, I think today that's what we're going to do. We're going to go, now that I have got some fire protection, now that I have got some feather falling, um, and got some decent armour, really go and explore the nether a little bit, see what we can find in terms of some of the other biomes. Um, maybe, maybe a bastion, we shall see, but predominantly, yeah, looking really, really to get myself um, a fortress, and I know they're quite difficult to find, so... Who knows how it'll go, but now I'm going to go in and uh, yeah, in and get this golden helmet all fixed up and ready to go for the adventure. I'm all prepared now. I've even got my warped fungus on a stick ready to go. I fixed up my helmet and got some unbreaking and some mending on there. Um, got my silk touch, uh, got my silk touch diamond hoe in case I need to take down any nether nether trees. Um, got some gravity blocks. All of the all of the things that I need basically. The one thing that I don't have though, which I checked all my chests and couldn't for the life of me find, is a saddle. So I'm going to have to see if I can find myself a strider who has lost its its owner, or at least then take out the uh, the hoglin who was riding it. And because I'm thinking that that's probably going to be the best way to get around. But yeah, let's let's head into the Nether and uh, and see what what we can find here. Um, Always bow out, ready to uh, take out any gas that might spawn nearby. Let it all load in. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, one of the iron golems has obviously made his way through into the nether. He's probably having a a, a, a whale of a time here. He, uh, you damaged? You damaged? Let's uh, should, let's do him a favour and. Uh, there we go. He's now fixed. You can, uh, yeah, if you can just protect the port. Just walk off then. Just walk off. Just walk off. You're going to take it? Oh dear, I hope. Maybe that's not the best of ideas, to be honest. Uh, fixing him up, maybe if he takes out the zombie pigmen, but yeah. Now to uh, do a bit of walking around and find find what I can around here. Um, hopefully, hopefully it won't take too long. But they are a bit notorious now to find the um, find the the fortresses. So I'm gonna head around and see what I can see. Well, I looked around over that that way, couldn't find anything. Um, came back over here and uh, looks like our friend the. Uh, Friend, the iron golem is no longer, but he's he's done a bit of work to be fair uh, to him. So uh, yeah, let's pick up some ingots and some XP because, God, yeah, that's where he's obviously met his demise. But he's taken a fair few of these guys with him. So yeah, well done to him. Well done to him indeed. Well, after coming to lots and lots of dead ends and basically just ending up having to mine through Netherrack to get anywhere, I have actually just come round this court. Well mine through over over this abyss uh is more more apt but as you can see over there we have quite a big nether fortress um so yeah it's in the worst possible place in the middle of a soul sand valley which means it's gonna be ghasts everywhere which isn't isn't ideal and it's over a massive lava lake and this ooh, ooh, that, that, yeah that, that set my head a bit funny there uh this itself um, doesn't seem to be above anything, so I can't get down to the low level. But what I figured from coming over here, and let's just build a bit of a platform here, uh, because yeah, it's a bit 
safer. But from what I can see, all of this floats. But if I can get up into this big bit here, potentially I can just get straight across to the nether fortress. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's what I've started doing. Started digging up here to see where this came out. And yeah, sure enough, this does actually seem to connect to this bit. And up there, I can even see a blaze and a wither skeleton, though the wither skeletons are, that's a future, future thing. Um, but yeah, look at it, it goes quite a way and don't think it's gonna be easier to get to it that way. So I may as well just carry on mining up to this big bit and see if I can get across. Fingers crossed I should be over in a bit. Now I've dug across and uh, over here we can see here is the nether fortress. Now, uh, I can see that there is an interior bit there, but there is also a pillar here. Let's just check. I'm in the bounding box now, fantastic. Okay, let me um, try not to kill this pig man and get them all angry. Whilst taking out this blaze, yes. Bonus, right, okay, I need a couple more of them, uh, but what I'm going to do is get some of this lovely hideous netherrack um, and start bridging and start staircasing up to here. Uh, I always prefer to staircase just because if you need to make a speedy retreat for any reason, then it just, yeah, just gives you so much more more option and uh, let me just do this and I'll need to take out some of this roof just so I've got a nice bit to get up and now we can continue up into here hopefully you're not angry at me are you I don't think I hit you with an arrow no nope. cool hopefully once we get into here and get through this it will open out Ooh chest straight straight there so let me put some torches here and let's see what the coordinates are let's take a screenshot just in case 290 uh, 290 230 perfect right so it wasn't actually as far as I was thinking um, from the the base I can hear some blaze action around here um, but yeah not quite as as far as I was thinking magma cube there that one is going to be a pain particularly if this pigman decides to get near there we go got rid of him all right I haven't got sweeping edge on my sword so let's see if we get anything in this chest and then I'll do a bit more exploring Diamond horse armor. Mm, yeah, I'll take some diamond horse armor. Let's leave some netherrack just as a present and uh, some dirt. And let's carry on. Carry on looking around. I will come back to you if I find anything else. So, just around this corner, I have come to one of these in the essential ingredients here some nether wall. So, let's get some of this stuff and make sure I've picked it up, which I haven't done. Perfect. Once I've got this, oh, that could have ended badly. Uh, once I've got some of this at least, then I think this is probably blocked off. Oh, with a the skeleton there, give him an avoid. Um, but yeah, this and some blaze rods, and then that is uh, mission, mission successful, so. Um, if these guys weren't here, I'd probably try and take out that with a skeleton, because why not? Um, but, yeah, these guys have been rather annoying, so I'm just, just going to leave well enough alone and head down this way towards towards this area and see what I can find. Well, I'll tell you what, this nether fortress is pretty good. There's a chest just there, a chest here, and just come around this corner and a third one. Nothing apart, and a fourth one as well. Uh, still nothing brilliant in here. No diamonds, don't need any obsidian. Good grief, there's chests everywhere in here. Uh, 
more nether wart and some gold but I think that this is the end of the road for this particular area but there's loads loads more there was a blaze that I went past earlier so I'll go back and kill him and then see uh, see what else I can find all good so far though would you believe that I'm not joking but that is the first wither skeleton that I've encountered just built this barrier and he's dropped ahead I have got looting three on my sword now but that is that's just crazy and I think it's safe here let me just put some uh, blockades up but yeah let me show you in the stats quickly because that is crazy uh, mobs right the way down the bottom with a skeleton you've killed one with a skeleton and found and got a skull so that is absolutely incredible luck this place is brilliant and I'm gonna keep going and see if I can get some more out the way zombie pig man you're kidding me a wither skeleton with a wither skeleton skull on that this is a joke this has got to be some kind of a joke because that now means I've got two wither skeleton skulls and statistics again just to just to show you wither skeletons four two skulls from four skeletons and these guys just literally followed me back around the around this corner this is just ah oh, I'm reckoning that I can actually get a beacon out of this and with the iron farm that would be amazing there's loads more of them as well Ooh, nearly got a bit close to him so it's only one dude another skull no Yes! Yes! And avoided the pig man. Three wither skeleton skulls. Just on the off chance. And there's another one. They are everywhere on in this fortress. Because it's over a lava lake and in a soul um, in the middle of a soul sand valley. They're literally just pack spawns all over so uh, excellent well that was an unexpected uh, treat and I'm actually not too far from the exit so now I am gonna head back head right the way back and uh, 
and yeah get all of my my loot back safely right let's get away from those because there's no good coming from that and let's get round here the problem is this is a very very dangerous fortress as you can see there are blazes everywhere uh, and and quite a lot of wither skeletons as well so now I've got a stack and 36 of the uh, blaze rods as well so that's that's really good news now I've just got to find my way out and yeah I'll catch up with you guys once I'm I'm out of this place Whew. so I'm back and uh, yeah obviously I haven't slept for a few days as there are some phantoms that are uh, well and truly after me so if I can just this is actually quite useful though because if I can actually hit any of them um, then I can get some phantom membranes uh, which are perfect for potions of slow falling uh, now that I've actually got the ingredients for potions let's just I don't need gravel anymore where's the last one here we go There we go. And I believe that that's all of them now. And yeah, I've also got then five phantom membranes. So that is good. And pretty much exactly what I wanted. So let's head back in here into the base. Very, very successful trip. Very successful trip. Oh, next level floor into the bed. Uh, mm, yeah couldn't really have hoped for more to be honest so I used a lot of food my armor because I've got mending on it is still doing fine but actually on the way out I got a fourth with a skeleton with a skeleton skull with a skeleton skull as well so let's just have a look at the stats um, in the end how was it for so there were an awful lot of with the skeletons in there 117 with the skeletons and came up with four skulls so then we're looking at what one skull every 30 skeletons which don't know if that's too bad don't know if that's brilliant but yeah what can you do but either way we have got enough wither skulls to actually get the wither and yeah picked up various other things as well no loot in the chests which wasn't great have got uh, nearly yeah over 100 110 blaze rods which will be great because that means that I can actually start doing some uh, doing rather a lot of potion brewing which is always good I'm quite a big fan of potion brewing so looking forward to doing that we'll also set up a wither fight potentially next next time which is yeah strange normally I don't do the wither until I've killed the ender dragon but yeah very very much not the way around but a beacon in this place is far far too good to uh, to ignore so that's that's perfect and also got quite a lot of coal as well so let's put this in my valuables chest put this here and all in all that's what that was really really good so the first thing that i am going to do now i'm back from the nether and found the fortress is get myself some blaze powder unlock some more recipes including an eye of ender and then that in itself unlocks actually let me make two eyes of ender and two ender chests because i want one permanently in here um but yeah two ender chests perfect that has is going to make the game so so much easier going forward just once you've got that first ender chest in place i don't know where i'm going to put it actually yeah i do pretty obvious really right next to the bed uh well, yeah once you've got that first ender chest in place ah all the important things like the wither skulls the diamonds 
can can start to go inside here so that's really really good I will actually get a third one I don't like just having the two I can always get more obsidian because you can trade obsidian now and get a third one in case you place one and then you haven't got one I always like to carry quite a stack in fact so much of a stack that I can get more ender pearls from the uh, from trading with the piglins and there we go all sorted I'm very very glad that I've got that and now I can get things like my gas tears which I've got for potions of regeneration name tags useful things like that a clock well once I've done it uh, let's put all of these things that are actually quite useful like the diamond horse armor the name tags all of these things can go in here perfect perfect so as I stand in front of my little brewing area as it brews away the first potions of this season of AD's adventure then I think that that's going to be it for this uh, this episode so I hope you've uh, enjoyed it um, I think it's been really successful to go to the nether find that fortress and then actually come away with the three wither skulls as well so looking forward to fighting the wither in a future episode and also getting some potions which will allow me to take on the ender dragon and do various other things so yeah really really uh, pleased with how today's gone uh, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like, let me know in the comments, really is appreciated and it really does help. And above all, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time on AD Craft. Bye.